Welcome back to Resale Mania and welcome back to another thrifting video. Jess and I are here outside of Rethink Thrift and it is half off everything in the store. Let's run in and see what we can find. All right, so over here in the cage, you have a brother label maker for three bucks. These always sell well, nothing crazy, 15 to 20. Over here, we have some on clouds, other, and I'll put them in the cart and look more in a bit. Then this says UGG, UGG sheepskin care kit. Interesting, we'll look that up too. What is, first of all, what are these? 03 album, third album. Yep, that's got a hair on it. Um, I'm not sure what these are. Huh. I'm gonna have to look into this. All right, so they're a dollar a piece. I scanned the code and there's like three sold and a bunch listed, but all in other countries. And it's kind of confusing, 23 to 45, whatever that means, 24 to 20. So I don't really know exactly what they're worth. I'm gonna keep shopping and do some thinking on those. A little sack roots wallet for 350. It's kind of paying up. I think I can get like 15 for it. I think I'm gonna grab it. If you guys caught the last video, these were here the other day. These geese, or ducks I mean, by Atlantic uh, Company. They sell for about 30 to 40 for a pair. So I'm gonna get these now that they made it to half off. This little craftsman. Ooh is uh, also half off now, it's five bucks. I think it's gonna be worth it. I'll double check the model before I buy it, but that's gonna go in the cart. Down in the shoes, we have two, three pairs of all birds. Oh, those ones are 15, geez. These are 15 as well. Why are they pricing them so high? The lady who usually prices things reasonably is out of town, so that's probably why. That's a little bit too much for all birds. But down here we have some muck boots. They are gonna be five bucks. Overall good condition, just need to be wiped down. You should sell for 35 to 40. All right, so over in the case. I missed these first go around because it's a different case, but uh. All right, I was struggling to open it so I had to set the camera down, but these are some Kate Spade glasses for $2.50. Those should sell for at least 20. All right, we're not finding a ton today. I put back the Craftsman and the UGG cleaning kits, but we are gonna get everything you see in the cart here. And just found some clothing we're gonna go over. Okay, so it's piranha. It's a weird spandex material and it's half off. That's why I grabbed Dollar it. $1.25. It's weird. Yeah, that is weird. Might sell. Half. Piranha is hit or miss. Patagonia. Patagonia, all right. And mind you guys that three other people were looking at this rack before me, but you always have to like look tiny down there. They, mm. People messed up, so. Okay. Talk about this a little bit. Okay. This is a new one, or not a new one, but this is a cool one. It's the Bridger Mountain Range, which is where we live, um, but it's North Face. Okay. So, otherwise, whatnot. Yeah. We have Steel. Oh yeah, Steel's a good brand. These sell pretty well for me. Uh, there's like a little pineapple thing, S-T-I-O. Yeah, and everything's a dollar twenty-five. We have to look this one up, but Beyond Yoga, brand new, sells pretty well, so I don't know the price of it. We can look it up. Used, so we have to look that up to look. Sims. Sims is always a buy. It's like a $15 shirt, so mm -hmm. $1.25. Another brand, so Spanx. Spanx doesn't, doesn't do well for me. Okay. No. I've never found it and I've never found a shirt. Yeah. So, no. Okay. It's a no go. All right. Ooh. Smart wool. I could just tell by that logo as soon as I saw it. Saw it. Smart wool. Fantastic brand. Even the shirt should sell for like 25 bucks. Otherwise, Jesse will wear it. <laughs> um, the last thing, North Face fleece, yeah. but it is half off. That's why I grabbed well, it. Th this style of North Face does tend to sell pretty well. It's got like a little stain, but that should come off. It looks like. Yeah, we'll get that for a dollar twenty-five. That's also twenty-five bucks. All right, Perfect. good fans. This is a pretty cool bookend, like marble stone, but uh, it's only ten bucks. I'm gonna leave it behind. It's just cool. We're about to check out and hanging right here is another sack roots wallet, but this one has like a crossbody strap and it's gonna be $3.50 as well, so that's gonna be a buy. Not a bad stop. I used a $5 off card I had. I have so many of them. I have like a dozen in my wallet uh, full, but we spent $23.75 on everything. Uh, nothing crazy, but for that price, a lot of bread and butter items that will be paying the bills. Now we're off to Goodwill. Next stop on today's sourcing trip is Goodwill. I need to wake up. <laughs> Me too. Tired. Wow, that's really cool. It's $200 though. $9.35 online. That's really cool. 
We got some Adidas Alpha Bounces for 10. Mm, 10's kind of steep on this model. They sell for like 30, 35 plus shipping. I'm gonna put them in the cart and think about them. Got some kids Nike indoor soccer shoes, TM Pox. I'm not sure about this model. They're six bucks, but some indoor soccer shoes sell really well, so I'll look them up. Okay, so this might be a big score if I can get it down. Let's see, how much is it? Ten bucks. It's definitely missing some parts, but this is one heavy duty juicer, and that might be at least a hundred dollars right there, maybe more. I'll have to look into it. Hey, did you guys happen to see the horse over there? Get it? Seahorse. <laughs> Seahorse. <laughs> Ooh, I almost missed this. Six dollars for some brother ink. Feels lighter than it should. I might have to open it up, make sure it's in there new. But if that is new, that's an easy 30 bucks. These last Sportivas just came out on a new cart. They're 13 bucks, but overall good condition, just a little dirty, need to be cleaned up. These should sell for 45. Over here in the women's though, we have some New Balance 990s for 10. Women's New Balance 990s don't sell as well as men's, but they're still an easy 40, 50 bucks. Um, any New Balance shoes that say made in the USA are tend to be worth a little bit more, especially like the dad shoe style. They tend to sell really well. I also just found these Nikes on the new cart. They're $13 though, so I'm gonna have to look them up. I'm not sure if it's gonna be worth that. They're a pretty cool looking model though, so I figured they'd be worth at least comping. All right, so I'm in the toys. I found a couple plush. One is this Harry Potter Build-A-Bear that sells, it's a Harry Potter, I mean, Build-A-Bear branded Harry Potter bear, and it sells for like 20, 25 bucks, and plush here are 99 cents, unless marked. And then this has a couple stains on it, but I should be able to get it out. It's only 99 cents as well, as well a brand new Squishmallow with the tags. All right, so I'm about to, I still have to look into this, make sure this is new. Yeah, it's new with tags for a dollar. Just says she has some good finds, so let's see how good they are. And music's a little loud, so we gotta talk up okay. a bit. Frame. Frame, yep. Jeans. So yeah, just found this the other day in a sweater, and yeah. I never heard of it before, but the sweaters sell well, and then someone commented frame jeans sell for crazy money, so I didn't look them up, but we're gonna get them. Boom. Okay, I just thought this piece is super funny. I don't, it's not worth anything, I don't think. Um, it's Target and Lego did a collaboration. <laughs> And they made jeans. <laughs> you mean <laughs> sweats? That's cool. I don't think it's gonna be worth it. I don't think it's gonna be worth <laughs> that anything, is funny. But it's Lego funny. sweats, yeah. Okay. You can show. I want to look up this brand because I've seen it before. A Y B E L. I'm not sure of that one. Okay. All right. So a lot of people had walked into the aisle along with some an employee. So we just decided to pause the filming for a second. But we are back. Are we? <laughs> we are. You got this. <laughs> like I'll Okay, these used to be a popular shoe brand and like clothing brand. I have never seen I can't Element. Read. Element? I'm not sure they I'm look nice. Sure. We can hang but them on the side and look them up. Very like yeah. I2K. These are the Nikes, Nike, right? Like parachute pants. Okay. What does the label look like? Because they might be older. Yeah, it's not terribly old, but those are still nice cool. Material, Five but they're bucks. Not, like, the swishy material, which is nice. Yeah, very Y2K ish, I think. Okay, ready for the find? Yeah, what do you got? Aloe. Oh, nice. But it's also weird aloe. Yeah. It's like mesh. Okay. Yeah. Are there any stains? White's hard to clean. I don't think so. Mm, no. Looks... Oh, there's a little thing right there, but that, it looks like it would yeah, wash it Yeah, that should come off. Okay. How much? Five bucks, right? Yeah. $4.99. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we'll get those. Cool. And then we got a few things to look up and then head out. All right, so we looked up AYBL. We're going to pass on them because they're five bucks. They sell for like 14 to $17. Um, so if you can get them for like a buck, I would definitely suggest picking them up, but for five, it's just a little too steep. I missed this, just saw it on that rack right there. Nice little 686 ski snowboard jacket, $7. 686 is a great brand of ski snowboard gear. Obviously men sell better than women's, but women's do still sell. These should still go for 40 to 50. All right, so I was checking the men's clothing right before we left and Analog. I've only found this brand once and it sold really well for good money. So for $7, this is definitely a pickup. Okay, not a bad stop. So Jess had her student ID, which got us 10% off. We spent $85 in there on everything. The juicer obviously is missing parts and pieces, but I did look it up and even just by itself as it is, I should still be able to get 75 to 100 for it. So that is not bad at all. Okay, so I'm not even sure if I'm gonna put this in the video or not. We left there, we're on our way to the next store. Um, oh, this, I love that Goodwill. I find a lot of good stuff. 
I, it's a little frustrating sometimes. There's an employee who works there who, and I know, the only reason I'm saying this is I know she doesn't watch my videos. Uh, she's super nice. She means no harm at all. But she, we avoid her like the plague when we go in there. She harasses us. And it's, like I said, she means no harm. But like she comes up in today, that Squishmallow, she walked up, took it out of my cart and was like, I'm keeping this, haha, and like ran away, like expecting me to chase her, uh, like children. And I didn't, of course. And then like, she just like running around the store with it. And she worked there, she was restocking at the same time she left her cart, but uh, it took about five minutes for me to get it back. I went up to her and I was like, hey, I'm about to check out, can I get it back? And she goes, nope, <laughs> and runs away. And it's just annoying, like, she comes up, she's constantly taking stuff out of our carts, like, as if it's a joke, and, like I said, she means no harm, but I don't have, like, a mean bone in my body to tell her to stop, but it's, I'll be filming, and she'll walk up, and she'll put the middle finger up to the camera as a joke, and then I have to come stop and refilm the entire clip, where, and then she'll shout something from behind me while I'm filming, and it's just getting to be a lot. Well, I don't know, what would you guys do in this situation? It's, it's very obnoxious and I don't know how to handle it. Oh, and just to clarify, I don't know her. That's the thing. I don't even know her name. She's just, she was a cashier who started like joking around and then she got taken off a of cash register because stuff like this and put on stocking and now just constantly, it follows me around the store. Uh, like I said, I'll be filming and then she'll interrupt and I'll say, hey, you know, trying to trying to work here. And she's like, that's not work and laugh and keep going. So like I said, she's basically a stranger who I see often doing this. We are now at Jess's favorite thrift store, Four Corners Thrift. There's nothing here. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not her favorite, but we're gonna find something good, right? Yeah. 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 Well, first find is going to be over here in the sporting goods with this Louisville Slugger TPS baseball bat. I looked it up at $7 and it sells for about $45 to $50 plus shipping very consistently. So that's going to go in the cart. And up here we have a nice little black diamond headlamp. Uh, these sell pretty well, obviously not for a ton of money, but for 4 bucks I should be able to get like 20 for it. Not seeing a whole lot yet. I mean store definitely doesn't get as many donations as some of the other stores here but I definitely have scored pretty well in the past and hopefully we'll continue all right so I haven't looked at it yet I just saw the sticking out four dollars for a guitar hero guitar this isn't the best model but it does sell pretty well for like you know 30 bucks and for four bucks you can't turn it down that seems to be good yeah looks like it's gonna be a buy not a big plush guy. We have a Care Bear over here. Uh, looks like a newer one. I don't know much about Care Bear stuff or plush. Is it? Isn't this the same Squishmallow I just bought at Goodwill, but it was new for a dollar? This one's eight. Uh, Mikey Nikes. It's pretty bowl, five bucks. I don't deal a lot in glassware. I also have very little knowledge in it, but if I see something that I do know, I like to pick it up so I can expand my knowledge. Up here we have some men's slip-on bog boots for only seven bucks, and it's kind of surprising they're only seven bucks considering how the store prices shoes, but I will definitely take these. These should sell for 30, 35. I right, just found a few clothing items. We'll go over it briefly. Right, I also have to reiterate here that it's not a great place to resell clothes, and that's what usually I help them with. Um, but in general, it is, if you're looking for stuff for yourself, they do have some very high-end brands. They just mark them up, so I'm gonna make that clear. Okay, but sometimes they slip through the cracks. Black Diamond, Which base price. What size is it, extra large? Ah, uh, oh, that's kinda, just cause it's cracking so much on the back. Mm. Otherwise, I would've picked it up. Black Diamond is a good brand that sells fairly well. Okay, I don't think you're gonna pick this one up. This okay. is what I'm saying, but it's Pendleton, but it's a t-shirt. But here's the thing, guys. They marked oh. it up to 10. Yeah. So that's Pendleton's a good brand, but it just, without, only if it has like the colorways and wool, basic and, Pendleton just doesn't yeah. really sell. So I know you're gonna say no to that. Here's the thing, things do slip through the cracks. Is there, like, base price? Patagonia. They usually always mark out their Patagonia, so that's so. really surprising. 
Is there anything wrong with it? No, it looks like there's some I mean, that, paint, that'll but that off. comes off. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely get the Patagonia then, because we'll double check, make sure there's nothing wrong with it, because like I said, they always mark up their Patagonia. So we'll see. Okay, so we spent $33 in their total. I got everything you saw, but as I was checking out on the more expensive rack, I don't even always check it because they usually price stuff way too high. Just found a Viore hoodie for only 10 bucks. And yep, huge Bolo brand. Uh, I love selling it, sells so quickly. This is an easily a $50 hoodie right there. So I will gladly pay up at $10 for it, especially because it's in great condition. What you got there? T-shirt? Oh, ten, it's ten dollars. How fast? Yeah. I'm surprised the leggings are only two dollars each. Enough to. I think I'll just get these. Well, what did you get? Two. I got that. You got, I got the light, light, and then several things out of your free box. I love it. <laughs> Make it I'm even so glad. thirty. I couldn't with not get to be happy. Tea. <laughs> Can't not. Can't not. <laughs> I'm so glad. Like, okay. Right, Thirty dollars worth. I got five pairs of leggings out of there, and, and then all, the shoes. All the rest out of the two dollar bag. Yeah. One, two, two four, six, eight, ten. Right. Yeah. So thirty. Thirty bucks. Two, you got good see? Four, six. See, I just need some professional diggers eight. around here. All that stuff's good, but right? nobody sees it. I'm like, yeah. this is all like good. Oh, I know you can I'm get some buying this. crazy deals at yard sales. Right? Okay, they should be marked. Oh, so that's, sorry, tw that's 20. That. Yeah, and I'm up for best offer. That's like, you know, and that, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so this is why we are still. Right? <laughs> okay, we spent 30 even. Paying 20 for the Hocus is paying up, but they sell for like 60 to 70. Good condition, just dirty. And five pairs of Athleta leggings. Nothing crazy, 15 to 18 a piece for them, but you know, for $2 each, definitely some profit. to hold the these might be to hold the um ice picks um wool with rich or smart wool oh. skirt how much is it do you like that one fry boots well fry boots for 15. Okay. smart wool for 30 bucks i'll definitely take that do you want the fry boots yeah, we'll go look at them i don't think this is the best model yeah. 15. Not bad. Yeah. Any other smart rules? Mm -mm. Was it Patagonia? That's 20. Mm -hmm. saw the little Some VHAs. Oh, I don't know what that is. No. 
Make offer on climbing gear. Right. Holy cow. Some big boys. There's a 7, 10, 25. How's it going? Hey. Then we got 15, 3, and 7. It's 25. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Okay, and that stuff is your mom's, right? Yeah. Okay. I just put it in your pocket. Have a good one. All right, so the, you don't know that brand, Smart Wool, it is a Bolo, you'll want to look out for it. I didn't look up this exact model of Fry Boots. I know it's not like the highest end one, but these are probably worth like 75 bucks. So for 15, I will take it. And then all climbing gear is something you want to look out for. I don't know exactly what this is or how much it goes for, but I mean, seven bucks, it was 37.50 new. I'm guessing 20 to 25, first class. This stuff always sells quickly.